we're going to start the year off taking a little deeper look into something we learned in middle school, and that's transformations. Uh, the first one we're going to go over is reflection. And what's important about a reflection is that the image and pre-image, and we'll touch on that vocabulary here in a moment, are equidistant from what's called the line of reflection, from what they're being reflected over. So we need to, one, be able to identify those lines of reflection, and we also need to be able to graph the reflection or that transformation in the coordinate plane. So you have to be able to do it on a graph. And some vocabulary in this section, we have transformation and re reflection, which should be uh, known to us. And then we also have pre-image and image, which may be new. And transformation, simply put, is a change in the position, size, or shape of a figure. Uh, the original is called the pre. Pre tells you it comes first. And then after it's been transformed, that's called the image. So you have pre before and then the image after. And a little bit of notation. Notation, uh, you'll see as a common theme, is very important in geometry, is we'll use an arrow to notate something that has been transformed. And then we use these little quote marks or the little apostrophe here, uh, which is the prime symbol in mathematics. That notates the image. So when I see that prime, after uh, a point, say point A or segment AB, that prime tells me that that has been transformed, that I'm looking at the image and not the pre-image, not the original. So let's take a look at a couple examples. Okay, so looking at some examples, what I'll first do is I'll start by drawing my y-axis, my x-axis, and what I first want to be able to do is I'm going to plot a point. So I'm going to go over 1, 2, 3, 4, and up 2. So I'm going to plot this point here. We'll call it point A. And this is at 1, 2, 3, 4, and 2. So this is the coordinate 4, 2. So what I want to first be able to do is reflect point A over, say, the y-axis. And I'll label these here. This is the y-axis. This is the x-axis. So if I reflect this over y, this then becomes the line of symmetry or the line of reflection. And if this were on uh, two dimensions, if this was on paper, I would just fold it along line Y here, the Y axis, and this point would fall right on one, two, three, four, right over here. So this would simply just be folded over and it would lay right here. And this coordinate, it looks like is one, two, three, four. This is to the negative in the uh, second quadrant here and up at 2. Let's try another one that's reflected over y. I'm going to plot another point down here in quadrant 4 and let's go over we'll say 3 and 3. So 1, 2, 3 and down 1, 2, 3. So that's 3 and negative 3 and we'll call this point B. And when I reflect this over the y-axis, this point, which is 1, 2, 3 units away from the y-axis, will fall 1, 2, 3 units to the other side of the y-axis. And this coordinate is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So I see this is actually negative 3, negative 3. And if I'm uh, labeling these properly, this above would be a prime because I took point A and reflected it, so the image receives the prime. And this one would be B prime. And if we notice what's happened here, when I reflect over the y-axis, I see there's a pattern that my x value here and my x value here just flipped signs. So my positioning here vertically did not change. I was at negative 3 here at B. I'm still at negative 3 here on B prime. But the x value changed. So when you reflect over the line y, uh, y axis, the sign of x is going to change. And while that's something that we could certainly commit to memory, really, as long as we can reason it out or problem solve it, that's going to be sufficient for us. So if I get rid of these, And we'll do the same thing, but we'll reflect over the x-axis. And I'm going to go ahead and just make a little notation up here. When I reflect over x equals 0, or that's the y-axis, perhaps that's a better way to write it. 
So when I reflect over the y-axis, my coordinate, which we'll call x, y, is going to become, it transforms, so you see the little arrow notation here, negative x, y. So something you can include in your notes, put in your notebook to have for later. And then if I do a similar thing here and I plot the point, say, 2, 1, we'll call this A again. If I reflect this over the x-axis, so this x-axis then becomes the fold. So it just lays one unit above, now it's one unit below. So this is A prime. The coordinate here again was 2, 1. Down here at A prime, I see I still am at 2, but now I'm at negative 1. So it looks like a similar thing happens here when I reflect over the x-axis, the horizontal line, my sign of y changes. So we'll take a look at another one and see if that continues to be a pattern. I'll go over here in quadrant 2. Or maybe let's go in quadrant 3 and we'll put our point here first. So I'm going to go out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and down 1, 2, 3. Call this b, and I was at negative 6 negative 3. And when I reflect this over x, I see it's 1, 2, 3 units away. So it's 3 below. So it's going to fall 1, 2, 3 units above. We'll call that one b prime. That tells me it's been transformed. And I see I'm still at negative 6. My horizontal position hasn't changed. It didn't move left. It didn't move right. But it did go above the line. It was below 3 units. Now it is above 3 units. So it becomes negative 6, positive 3. So again, I see here when I reflect over x, the sign of y changes. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my notes here. So when I reflect over the x-axis, my coordinate, x, y, is going to transform or it becomes, and I see that's still x, negative y. So again, the change is occurring on the x when it's over y and y when it's over x. And one more we want to be sure of. is I'll plot another point. We're going to go ahead and put this over at 3, let's go 3, 4. Nah, I don't want to do that. Let's go something over here. We'll say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's just go 6, 0. Call this point A. Another common line of reflection is going to be the parent linear function, which is the equation. We should know it by now. It is y equals x. So 1 up, 1 over, 1 up, 1 over, 1 up, 1 over. So that's the parent linear function. Everything else is a transformation of this graph. So if I were to reflect it over this, so this is my fold line, then I could see that this 6, 0 is going to fall somewhere up in here. And in fact, it will actually fall 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right on the axis. And this is the coordinate 0, 6. And whenever you're in doubt, if you can't determine or you can't remember, a little test is all it takes. If you can draw this or put it in your calculator, if I just plot a point right here, real easy one, and this is at just 3, 2, and I fold it over this line, I can see very simply that it falls right here. Just flips right over that line. And that coordinate is 2, 3. So if I do some more of those and start to look for a pattern, what I see, and we'll add this to our notes here, that when we reflect over y equals x, my coordinate, x, y, is going to become y, x. And what that tells you is that these swapped. It was 6, 0. a became a prime. 6, 0 became 0, 6. We'll call this b. 3, 2 became b prime. 2, 3. So 3, 2 became 2, 3. So this, uh, no longer dealing with the signs, but your x and y actually just flip. So that's really all we need to know about the basics of reflections. So let's try a little practice.